If you read about coffee production in Ethiopia, you'll soon start seeing the word heirloom. Although it is difficult to find an actual definition of the term, in Ethiopia it is used as an umbrella term for many of the country's genetically unspecified or genetically undetermined wild breeds. For third-wave coffee enthusiasts, these exotic and rare varieties are the perfect opportunity to try new flavors. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the word heirloom is defined as an item of the value passed down from generation to generation in a family. Similarly, in the coffee industry, the term is widely used to refer to the ancient species of the Arabica coffee plant, which has been around for a long time. However, especially in Ethiopia, the term legacy is often used to refer to the country's indigenous breeds, many of which are still found in the wild today. There are an estimated 10,000 to 15,000 varieties of heirlooms in Ethiopia today, most of which have not been formally identified genetically. While many legumes were originally wild plants, some legumes were later brought to the many specialized coffee plantations around the country for cultivation, harvesting, and processing. Heirloom varieties are generally classified into two groups, J8RC varieties and regional varieties. J8RC varieties are those developed and researched by the Jima Agricultural Research Center for desired characteristics such as better disease resistance or increased yield. However, the coffee trees in the area are coffee trees that grow completely wild. Among the thousands of different heirloom varieties in Ethiopia, identified or not, there is a wide range of different characteristics, including yield, cup quality, taste, and disease resistance. One of the biggest problems with these thousands of ancient coffee varieties, however, is identification. This is partly due to the large number of genetically distinct varieties that exist in Ethiopia. In addition, in some areas, many different varieties grow close together, making it difficult to distinguish and identify them. Finally, heirloom varieties are often identified by growers solely on the basis of years of experience, as a large number of varieties makes genetic verification of them nearly impossible on a larger scale.